Lindsay Allen from Thimble and Thread Quilting. This is just a short little video about changing rows in Quilters Creative Touch 5 Pro Power Panto mode. I'm currently in simulation mode just to demonstrate. The application is the same when using your program set to your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and select Panograph. Following the prompts on the screen, set your safe area. It's really important to always remember to save your quilt layouts of your panographs just in case you didn't finish it all in one day or you accidentally hit the red X at the top of the screen. It does happen. So I'm currently now in the Panto Stacker screen and from the menu on the left down the bottom, go ahead and select Pattern. Um, I like to save my designs on the USB that way I don't feel the memory on my tablet. I'm going to select D. Here's my quilt projects. I usually save my designs with my the name of the client, so I'm going to go ahead and open Jan. Once the design is loaded in the placement screen, we need to go down to the bottom right of our screen and tap Sewing Zones. message will appear. Would you like to save this own sewing session? I'm going to select no as we've already saved it. This is our pattern placement screen and as you'll see it's actually brought in row one for me to quilt. It tells me it's zone one. I need to change the zone because the day before I'd already completed it. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side of my screen and I'm going to select the zone manager. Little pop ups come up. Opening the zone manager allows you to select which zone to place. However, it will ask also reset the current placement of the pattern. Do you still wish to open the zone manager? I'm going to go ahead and say yes because that's what we need to do. The first thing I want you to note is the active zone is marked in green here and you'll see there's a tiny little red number one. Down on the bottom left of the screen this is our zone numbers and by using our arrow keys we can go up and down through our zones. You'll note here i have now in zone two and it's green. I would like to go down to zone three it's now active, it's green, I've got the number three. So once you've selected your required zone, all we need to do is go back here and select OK. We're now back in the pattern placement screen. Would you like to be guided in moving the fabric? I can say yes. The machine will now move to where the fabric marker for the next row should be positioned. I'm going to select OK. Move the fabric so that the marker is beneath the sewing machine needle. OK, OK. I usually mark um, each of the zones um, with my blue water soluble pen. Um, so I, it's always there for me to go back to. If the machine does not line up with your previous mark on the quilt top, simply move the machine needle to your mark and tap the placement icon down here, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to basically just select here, come down and select. And you'll note that it's actually moved on my screen. Um, it says I'm not in the safe area, so I'll just select that again and move it. Now I'm ready to go. Now basically I can go to Toolbox, Move to Start. I like to go Toolbox, Single Stitch to pull my bobbin thread and then all I have to do is hit Sew. 
I hope this works for you and you enjoy quilting. Thank you.